Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. On this episode, we've got two of Nigeria's finest as guests. Um, one is a renowned record producer and the other is a renowned singer and songwriter. They are succeeding in the music business not because of, um, not because it's by chance or by dishing out overly commercialized content without depth, but because they are extremely talented, exceptionally great at what they do, and they understand to a large extent that the business of music and its relevance is a real business. One of them has produced hot tracks for most of your favorite A-list artists from Nigeria and beyond, while the other has written songs for local and internationally recognized artists. He was also recently nominated for the Future Africa Awards Prize for Music. These two are teaming up to give us not just a jam, but a Vibe. Let's make welcome the only Saz on the beat and <laughs> Ward. Wow, God. Uh, right. the crowd goes crazy in this room. Yes. <laughs> and you held it, you held it together. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Yes. Welcome on the show. Bro. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. Yeah. Yeah. So. so I love girls with trouble. He does. We do. I think you, you both Oh, do. you don't love girls with trouble. <laughs> I think we all do. Your As name? men, we all love girls with trouble. Oh, you agree. <laughs> oh, yeah, we love girls with trouble. Great, so I need you to bring that back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Thank you. You have to lay back. What, what, what am I doing with you? You need to give me some trouble. Listen, it's the edge. Mm -hmm. That extra little notch that just mm. makes it wow. exciting. Mm. Mm. What is trouble to you from a girl? You know, trouble is um, I can't do without you. But I know I need to caution because this thing might not end up well, mm. but I'm going to risk it all regardless. Oh. So it's it's that it's That's that. That's a different definition of trouble. And now, because it's it's That's like I said, he <laughs> loves girls. <laughs> so what about you? What type of girls do you like? Um, I like what I like. I mm. mean, and what I, do you like? I have no idea because I've been <laughs> in just situations. Happens. I've been in situations <laughs> where I've been in situations where. Um, I'm like, if a girl does X, Y, Z, it's a red flag for me, and I end up being with that person, and I mm. really like that. But that's so right. I mean, you never, like girls with trouble. No, 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 but it's, it's, it's more like a never say never. Like, yeah. like um, a few years ago, I would say, oh, I wouldn't date maybe a short girl or a tall girl, mm. and I find out that I I I, like, I'll find a short girl that I actually really like. <laughs> so, and I'm like, wow. Is that that's your, your story? trouble. And also, <laughs> so that is the, okay. the idea, no, the idea of trouble, <laughs> okay. so the idea of trouble mm -hmm. is actually being with someone that you're not supposed to be with because the society this, um, defines this person. Oh, being with this person, this girl has been around, this guy has mm. been around. You're not supposed to, but you can't really control who you fall for. So the idea of the song trouble came mm. from that concept mm -hmm. of being able to freely engage in, and accept whoever you fall in love with. Okay, to um, make it clear to our viewers, yeah. I Love Girls With Trouble is an EP. Yes. That will be dropping yes. on the 8th of November. This Friday. This Friday. Yes. Literally so, two days. I Love Girls With Trouble. That's yes. I-L-G-W-T. -T. T hashtag. Okay, and you two have a song together called Trouble. Like, yes. That's yes. one of my favorite songs. Oh, amazing. You that was know? the first um, is song. That, is, was that the beginning of this project? Definitely. Okay. Yeah. We, we met in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and um, 24 hours after we met, we created the song Trouble. Mm -hmm. And the day after, we decided to do this project. It was all organic. So how long have you been on the project? Um, two years now. Wow. Yeah. All right. So Saz, I know um, you always work with very iconic artists, and then when you work, you always put in your best because yes. I've seen some of your studio sessions with um different artists, and I yeah. see how you put things together. Mm -hmm. Now, what attracted you to World before Trouble? What attracted you to Walt? Why did you want to work with him? Because we know that Walt is a very great artist as well. Mm. And congratulations, by the way, on all your ETV bags. Thank you know, you, you packed Thank that you. away, man. Thank like, you. Thank yeah. you. You did go with the Ghana Must Go, though. No, no. I'm <laughs> but you needed one. one. I only got one that day. Yeah, you got like, one, but, but I got like several nominations. Nominations, like. It was, it was a beautiful Yeah, that's experience. what I'm saying. Did you go with the Ghana Must Go just in case you packed the you seven? You know what I did? <laughs> I, listen, you know what? I was just um, thankful to be part of the um, um, you know, event. And everything else, I think, happened just naturally. I'm you know, still grateful. All right, so what attracted you to World? Why did you want to work? Okay, to be honest. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this is, listen, I don't even know what he's about to say. No, right let now. him just say, <laughs> because you're not yeah. letting him speak. And I feel like he's the one that's going to spill the tea I need to hear. Yeah, to be so, honest, mm -hmm. um, we have a mutual friend. And I mean, I've definitely heard of World before. You know, I met him, I heard the song Show You Off. Mm -hmm. And I thought Great it was song. cool. Yeah, it was. Cool, great song, but that's all I thought. I didn't think, you know, we're going to work or anything. I just had my mind on other things. And um, this friend 
asked if I would like to work with world. And I was just like, well, I mean, LA, you know what? Okay, let's see, let's see what it's like. You know, just never say never. And he was playing his music. You know, the um, thing is the project we're about to put out is totally different from what we both do individually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so world's music isn't like, it's amazing, but isn't like my um, go-to music like every day. It's okay. something I'll listen to once in a while. Mm -hmm. Not because it's not great. It's, mm -hmm. you, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, he played me stuff. It was really good stuff, but it wasn't something I like do <laughs> regularly. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm he ready. knows. So it's not, I'm not, it's not, it's nothing. Um, and, um, <laughs> and, um, and I played the beat that, I mean, that's obviously trouble now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the next day he sent me the song and his tone sounded so different from everything I've heard him on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that made me like, oh, okay. I didn't know, like, you know, he has this, um, Side of him. Uh, what's the word? Range. Range, mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't know he had that range. And as soon as I heard that song, I just thought, like, you know, this is not someone I want to make um, a song with, or I just want to get in the studio with so he can just pay me for my services or anything. It's someone I think I want to, like, make a project with and just So his build. voice changed your direction? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Saz <laughs> is not your mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, basically, I've seen um, Not Boy and Killer Tunes going after each other after the Joro incidents, right? Yeah. And I know you've worked with Whiskey a lot, so mm -hmm. I'll just like you to clear the air out here. Like, you've worked with Whiskey. Is he that kind of person that Not Boy is trying to paint him to be? Or throughout your working relationship with Whiskey, it was all smooth? What is um, Not Boy trying to paint Whiskey? All right, so Not Boy is trying to paint Whiskey as this guy that's okay. Whenever you send him beats, he doesn't want to pay. He doesn't want to give you credits for making a beat for him. He wants to outshine you on your own beat. Is that true about Whiskey? Well, I mean, so far, um, Whiskey has been that top um, one percent of people that worked with that made me where I am today. Mm. Like a lot of people, um, like if you hear the name Sars, you think about the name Whiskey. True. Mm -hmm. Same way if you hear the name Whiskey, you think about Sars. Sars, right. And I don't see how that relationship hasn't been beneficial to both parties. Mm. So, I mean, I don't know the relationship Whiskey has with No Boy, but that's not the relationship I have with him. True that. So yeah. let's face the hip hop culture right now. Yeah. Now, there's this thing called beef when it comes to hip-hop, when it comes to the music scene. Yeah. Now, do you think that this is part of the culture, like when we're talking about hip-hop or when we're talking about music, beef is very necessary or is healthy for the business? I think so because, I mean, it gives the fans something to expect, something to look forward to, you know, something to talk about. And when people talk about anything, it just makes them more popular. Right. I mean, that's, I, I think, Beef culture like just made like hip hip hop explode like from Tupac Biggie era, mm. you know. I mean, even now to the MI vector, True everyone's that. talking about it. Mm -hmm. Do you get know what I'm saying? So it's cool as far as you don't kill anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, so I need you to go back to I love girls in trouble. Yes, I read the the intro on what it's supposed to be about yes. and I noticed some names on it and what the um, whole track is supposed to be about. So besides Girls and the Trouble, mm -hmm. what message are you trying to pass with this EP? I'll let you go because I've been speaking. Oh, okay. <laughs> so um, this project in, um, in its entire form is um, it's, it's a message of highs and lows of just relationship. Mm. People going through things. Mm -hmm. So you have the highs and lows, you have the moment when you meet somebody. You have the moment where like nothing else matters. This is just us. And you have the moment where like we don't see eye to eye. That's the song Mad. Mm -hmm. But it still ends in a beautiful space. And you have the moment where like, you know, things go wrong. That's the song Ego. Mm -hmm. And you have the moment where like you want this person back. That's the song Sade. So it's a journey mm -hmm. of the highs and lows mm -hmm. of being with someone that puts you on the edge. 
Mm. So it's love, it's, it's you have pain. one where he's trapped in a sunken place. Sunken so place, prisoner. prisoner, yeah. Okay. Okay. I, like, I like the fact that you're always referring to him as the yeah. one being trapped. Yeah, and like, 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 you no, know, like, like, I, 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 I just like, produced like, it, I'm not part of the no, 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 So, no, no, are no, you no, a no, lover no. boy? That's the no, question. No, Would you consider yourself a lover boy or a sucker so, for love? So, so, lover boy doesn't mean that I appreciate good things and women that come that, you know, hit me. less romantic, let's put You know what, I, I don't know what I am. You know, mm. I just go with feel like what feels right to me, honestly. Mm. So you might feel differently every night. Same exactly. Same. Mm. Every <laughs> night. You know what, wait, 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 so you, you, you might feel differently every night. It's really I'm about, being with a different girl every see, night. See, you know what, it's really about this current, the situation that I'm Who in. Knows? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Listen, different situations. This guy is not keeping your secrets. I know. <laughs> I know. I said, but different knows? things. I, I didn't say nothing. See, different things bring out a different side of you mm -hmm. a lot of times, so. I kind of go with what feels right and how things feel at the moment. So yeah. Okay. So Charles, if did you if, sing on the album? No. At all. But I wrote all the beats. You wrote. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't make them. One. You wrote That's them. The good one. I yeah. want to come to Saz here. Um, I've had conversation with a lot of people, mm -hmm. and they really feel you're underrated. Do you feel that way? I don't know. Mm. All right. So let's talk about the producer space yes. in Nigeria because a lot of people tend to appreciate the artist and they don't look at the people behind the beat because mm. right now what we feel right now is the vibe not mm. even the lyrics a lot of mm. people don't even listen to lyrics anymore mm. apart from the real music heads you mm. feel me so do you feel like producers are appreciated enough in this part of the world um well not as much as um they appreciate in other regions that have a proper structure. Mm -hmm. However, I don't buy to the fact that people just vibe to beats. Um, here, I feel like, I, I, I know for a fact that a great song is better than a great beat. Mm. Yeah, that's Yeah, that's sure. from a producer point of view. It's not from a producer's point of yeah. view. Like, if, if the song isn't, like, every song that's huge today is a great song. So. There's something about it that makes it great. You know what I'm mm. saying? It's not just the beat. Mm. Even if they beat. even when you're singing, you're singing. Yes. Yeah, because I mean, imagine just playing a beat. I mean, everybody's waiting for the Let lyrics. me give you an example now. Maybe yeah. you take back your one. Samba, samba, samba. It's Come a on. great oh, vibe. It's a, samba, it's a vibe, but samba. you have samba. That's a song. Yeah, yeah. Samba no, is no, a song. No, samba is just so, like one that's word not being the beat. Repeated. You don't people remember the beat? the beat. You're doing like this. That's not should, it. No, that's not the beat. Exactly. Bro. I'm telling you that but I know that that, that beat now. is playing in my head right now. Yeah. And without that beat, I don't think I'll be singing samba. But I mean, that's that's why I said it's a synergy. Like, yeah. it's it's exactly. it's the beat no, that's and the, the song. That's why I said, that, no, so 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 that's why I said a great song, as in which is which is the composition of both like lyrics and instrumentals. I like how you're trying to be very diplomatic. Yes, I'm not being diplomatic. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 and I need him to sing before we go. But hey. so. Um, as a producer, yes. you work with so many artists, mm -hmm. the known ones and the ones we probably have not known, yes. right? Is, has there been any time you see a... They write a song, mm -hmm. and you wonder, what is this? A lot of times, and I'm also in that, you know, place right now in my career where I really, I truly only want to do things I'm interested in, mm. which might be which might not be um, interesting to people or anything. I said, but I feel like at this stage, I don't want to do anything because I'm getting well paid for it. Mm. I just want to do stuff because it's what I want to do. So how, how would you react if you're getting well paid or you've seen the money and this money is good, mm -hmm. but the content is not the content you want now? How would you? I mean, it depends on what my bank <laughs> yeah. account looks like. <laughs> I might just, you know, go back on my words. Wow. <laughs> when he said never say never. Okay. Yeah. So I, I love girls. I love girls with trouble. Yes. Yeah. This is your because we're running out of time. Just yes. put it out there. What is it about? What um, when should we look forward to this and um, the listening party? You already mentioned all of that, but just give the full information in case of people that are just joining the show, so they just have the whole vibe about ILGWT. So the project drops this Friday, yeah, um, November eighth. Um, it's an eight song um, project. Mm. First of its kind, a lot of people have heard so many beautiful things this year. You've never heard anything like this. So I look forward to All it. All right, so give us a song. Apart from Mad, yeah. Mad is online. Just sing something from that album. You know what, you guys, I'm going to invite you guys personally to the event. 
Yeah, 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 but we want so an exclusive oh, 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 for no, the people no. that can't make I'm, it to the event. We I, will I want to make sure you guys make it. I'm going to be performing that day, and you guys come through. Wow. Love. Wow. So you're not going to give us okay. you guys come to the, you guys come come with all your time. Come with That's your how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Aplus TV Africa. You can catch us also on Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ewa Ritu, Ife Oshunke, and the entire production team. And of course, our studio guests, Saz and Ward. Thank, thank you for having me. Here. So thank you. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and be good.